Well, this is new at 10. More than 50 students from across the region showcase their STEM skills for the annual Idaho Exhibition of Ideas Showcase, or IDX. And students worked together to come up with a solution and presented their work to a panel of judges who work in STEM fields. And News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was there and spoke with one of the winning teams. Hi, Jude. Hey, Shira. The Idaho STEM Action Center put on the showcase, and they're a state agency that focuses on STEM education and workforce development across Idaho. Now, these teams spent months designing, creating, and engineering real-world solutions for real-world problems. And this year's theme was all about solving environmental issues. STEM is very hands-on. It should be an engaging activity where students are, you know, free to explore and it's filled with experiential learning. So it builds these durable skills of collaboration, teamwork, and critical thinking and problem solving that are just absolutely critical to the workforce of tomorrow. Nine teams of students from across southwest Idaho presented their solutions to environmental issues to a panel of judges during the Idaho Exhibition of Ideas Showcase. Teams spent months working to design and engineer 3D printed models to tackle an environmental problem they're passionate about. One of the most wonderful things about this project, I think, is that the students work collaboratively. They choose a solution, uh, a problem that they want to find the solution to, and they are really the drivers of the process. The River Phoenixes from Xavier Charter School in Twin Falls won first place in the senior division. They invented a way to spread seeds and replenish sagebrush. We chose a sagebrush seed spreader thing because then there's been a lot of forest fires and wildfires out in southern Idaho, and so we chose that to help protect the native wildlife. Professionals working across different STEM fields judged Idaho's next generation of scientists and engineers. What I found is uh, the top three teams from each division, what I, some of the common traits I saw were uh, they learned modeling, building prototypes, and those lessons learned went back into the design. So one of the things that's really important is that students from all over Idaho have opportunities to excel and and find their path, um, f whether it's STEM or not. And this project draws from all over the state. Now the top three schools from each division each won cash prizes, and the first place teams also won a 3D printer. Now this is one of three regional competitions that the Idaho STEM Action Center has every year, and there'll be another showcase at U of I later this month. All right, thanks Jude.